What are you in Wordle? No, I did it in, in three. <laughs> to start up your last video. We're going. Great time to start the video. You know these guys. We got Marcel. We got Keevan. We got Papa Laverne. Yes, good day. <laughs> we are headed back to a place I've been actually two times before is Lori River Lodge. Um, we got two flights today in northern Manitoba. First, we're going from Winnipeg to Lynn Lake, and then from Lynn Lake to Lower River Lodge. So, should be a good time in the north. First big trip of the season. We were waiting for the monologue to start the trip. Yeah, you want me to be talking about this? I'm not sure. It's been four years, hoping to relive some of the magic from back uh, <laughs> back then. I've learned never to take that to uh, take that for granted. Each each from one day to the next, it's a new adventure each time. Are you talking life or like just fishing? Just fishing. Yeah, just fishing. Sir, off the tarmac, please. Oh. Welcome to Lynn Lake. Lord. Thank you. Manitoba, the greatest province no, of not. all of them. All right, I did my job. That was great. Welcome to the Lynn Lake Airport. Stocked up here, we got uh, Old Fishing Canada Special Edition. Oh man. Are you in this? We got Lurie River Lodge. There's the family that owns this fine establishment. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. One second, there's a lot of glare in that shot, Marcel. That's nice. Is your clothing bag in there? Did you look? I forgot my clothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I bring a lot of gear. The only thing that really isn't important is clothing. So that luckily that's what I forgot. Yeah. Most of my clothing. What I'm wearing, and for some reason I did bring a couple pairs of clean underwear, but that's, that's pretty much it. Like six pairs of underwear. <laughs> and the Steven group, you're going to go on the airplane that comes to that dock. Got it. Um, unfortunately, I have to weigh all of you guys uh, before you get on our aircraft. Whoops. We should eat that extra burger. <laughs> oh, I'm saying? I had a big burger last <laughs> night. <laughs> How much do you think you weigh? I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's been so long. We got to all announce our weights to everybody. Now the truth comes out. What do you think you weighed 181. at? 181, that's your prediction? He says 181. Let's see. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing there? <laughs> I can't fly with this, sir. Sorry. Oh, hey. Were you close? Yeah. You got 22. it within a pound? 181.2. We're at Eldon Lake. This is the hub where we fly out. If you're flying out to the outpost, so Lur River Lodge has an outpost on Kamachawi. I will link those videos below. We'll probably reference those a couple times because we had some fantastic lake trout fishing. A legendary trip with Dad. Uh, Dad has become famous because of that video series. He gets recognized on the daily. Um, and I think he sold a lot of water wolf tubes because he put on a clinic. But anyways, we are gonna get picked up shortly. There's one crew going to Kamachawi for eight days for that outpost. And then we're going to the main lodge of Lower River. Lower River has uh, a lot of fly out lakes. That's a big part of what they do. So we'll probably be sampling a few of those different fly out lakes. They've got pike, they've got lake trout, they've got walleye, probably some whitefish, burbot. But anyways, we'll be doing the big three, pike, walleye, lake trout, and uh, should just be good times. I think we'll be splitting this into four days, four videos, and hopefully a whole lot of fish. Hopefully the weather improves a little bit. Is that it, Dad? Yeah, it's always good. Your yearly it's, flying trip? Yeah, it's uh, nice to have contacts. Nice to know people. Yeah, nice to know people, yeah. I've uh, made this joke many times, but I, I've told Sam that if Hannon likes fishing, he is gonna come on the road with me and Sam will never see us again. She'll be a single, not even a single mother, she'll just be single. <laughs> I love you, Sam. Sam, Sam can give you all of another kid so Sam can have some company at home. I love you, Sam. I miss you. Bye. See you in a couple days, Sam and Hannah.
Our plane is here. Busy morning. I think three or four or five flights went out back and forth. How long is the flight from here? 15 minutes. 15, not too bad. Don't go in the water, Dad. <laughs> I'll have it on film at least. Yeah. <laughs> Bloopers. Flow plane fails. <laughs> he volunteers. Yeah. Respect your elders, they say. And we stick yeah. them in the middle. I guess if you have time filling it, wouldn't be a bad thing. Is that your mom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought so. It'd been a couple years since I've been here. I just... You didn't have a mustache last time I was here. Welcome to the lodge, guys. Thank you for the flight. How's it going? Good to see you. Hey, Carson. how's it going? Jay, nice to meet you. Hey. How's it going? Good, Good to see good. you. Yeah. How's it going, man? Oh, yeah. oh, the weather's nice. Well, we left the rain and the clouds in Little Lake, and it is beautiful. Saw some familiar faces there on the dock. I've been here twice. So the first time I went here was for filming a destination spotlight, which is what Marcel's doing now. So before I was doing stuff in front of the camera, I was doing stuff behind the camera, and Lori River was one of my first destination spotlights. Um, I'll link that one below. It's a cool film, kind of about, yeah, about the lodge. And then I went back with my dad and we did the outpost thing. So anyways, we'll give you a little tour around. We met Aaron, was the one that drove us in the van. Now we got Brent here, who's, they are the couple that owns this place. And their son Chase was our pilot. Well, the guys left me in the dust. Head to the main lodge, gonna have some lunch, and then make a game plan for our four days up here. McGavick Lake is where it's uh, based out of, but like I said, there's lots of flyouts, so we'll, I'm sure, learn all about that. Look at the lineup of rental rods. Wow. A lot of rods. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Steaming. Delicious lunch. I uh, had a chance to chat with Brent, the owner, and uh, yeah, got a pretty good lineup for the week. Today, we're doing a pike walleye combo. Not exactly sure what we're all gonna be doing, but staying on the main lake. Day two or day three, we're gonna do flyouts. One walleye day, one lake trout day. Day four, we'll see what's missing, see what we haven't crossed off the list. But uh, we have a lot of gear to unpack now, and then we'll go meet our guides down uh, at the dock. We are geared up, ready to go. Day one, Lord River Lodge. All right, we got the map, McGavick Lake. We're gonna be hanging around with those guys over there. We got Alfred taking the camera guys out and uh, All right. hopefully we Thank don't get you. lost. Thank you. Last time we were here, we went to the grocery store right up there and Marcel caught a big one, but probably set down the camera and follow these boys. All right, we're starting, Dad and I. We do have minnows in the boat, but we're starting with some artificials in the north. Ideally, you don't have to use bait. Sometimes you do. I mean, meat does well, but uh, this is the frostbite head spin jig with the head banger, banger ribs. A good combo. It's got a little thump with the propeller. It's got some good kick, being a swim bait. All right, the fish are on this side. I see them over here. First cast, Lure River Lodge. Let's see what happens. The other boys have caught a couple already. The wind is howling. There's the hole. There we go. Beautiful pike to start off the trip. Got to break the ice. It'd probably have been bad if we would have started the trip with like a 30 inch walleye. There you go. They do get bigger. There's a bunch of fish. 30 feet, kind of like right there. Oh. You have a hit? Yeah. Oh, so did I. You're gonna hit me in the head with the rod? Ooh, there we go. That's a walleye. Nope, another pike. Well, our fish count's pretty good. Two fish in two minutes. We will hit that 100 fish mark that we aimed for last time we were here, if we keep it up. Number two, chicken for walleyes. Swim baits kind of catch everything though. Such a versatile bait. I mean, everyone used the twister tail. The swim bait's basically just the new age twister tail. 
Dad and I have many stories of catching a lot of fish on a white double twister tail. Like which sort? Right there? here. Yeah. Oh, I just got bit off. That's why I brought lots of jigs. If the anchor's tied on, I'll probably just throw it out right now. You're on? Yeah. Nice. We gotta break the ice with our first walleye. Let's see it. I didn't even see what it was. Well, we found the pike. Dad's on the board. There we go. <laughs> you gotta make it look bigger, hold it closer. Yeah. I'm seeing a bunch of fish up shallow. 60 feet that way. Which way? Off the nose of the boat. There we go. I've seen lots of fish shallow. I don't know what it is. It's got some decent weight. It's gotta be a pike. Whew. Not that big. But we're not keeping track for the oh. 100. All right, he's gone. Yeah, we're not at 100 walleyes yet. But we also really haven't started. Oh, hello. Man, there are so many pike here. Hooked up! Well, similar size to the other one. If I was eating pike, one of these would go right into some catch and cook. And it would be delicious. Out of the cold water? Mmm! So for a walleye rod, I like something longer. If, if you're only packing a couple rods, I like to favor longer because it's a lot easier to do everything with a long rod than it is with a, with a shorter walleye rod. So this one's 710, medium. That is a, a shorter rod there I did bring. Oh, what do you got? But like something in that seven, seven and a half foot range, you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can cast swim baits, you can troll with it if you need. You can still vertically jig with it. this I gotta pull a transducer in all right we're moving to a pike spot following Alfred our guide caught a lot of fish the other guys caught a lot of fish like one decent pike one decent walleye but uh, it's all right don't want to start with the best spot start of a trip anyways got to work your way up are we just fish in here yeah. along that edge cool yeah. oh yeah big one Oh, I got all of you. <laughs> the look on your guys' faces. Oh, man. The three stooges. Sign of a good guy is not being complacent. Is moving. Alfred's got us from spot to spot to spot. And we're gonna, I think this might be the bay. It's a pike spot. It's called Hidden Bay. But it's titled, so it's not that hidden on the map. But Hidden Bay. You can almost sight fish him here. Pull out the chuck and duck. Oh, there's a tiny pike. I see a pike. I'm just going to motor and see if I see fish. There's one. A little bigger than the last one, but... All right, I'm seeing a couple more fish. Ooh. We're going to get that guy right here. Come on. He's going to see my bait. Oh, I got him. He was right at the boat. We, like, spooked him beside the boat. That was cool. Nice. He just turned and chowed the bucktail. Just blade sticking out of his mouth. Upgrading. That was cool. Oh, it's the best when you can sight fish him. Oh, there he is. Heads up. Another pipe. All right, there's some fish. We just got a touch deeper. Good sign though. Try to keep your lure in the water right till the end, Dad. Cause sometimes they'll eat right here. Worth sure. Fish behind you, nice fish behind you, just ate it. Oh, you just missed him. He's sitting on the bottom now. I'll see if I can cast behind the boat. Cast right over my head. He's closer there. There he is, there he is, look at this. Oh, he's coming for you now. And you're wrapped around me. He's behind you, keep, keep moving, you got him. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, it didn't help that you were wrapped around me. We got a gong show happening here. Circus, full circus. Oh man. Oh, I got one, it's big. It's, oh! Do you want to play tug of war? Do you actually? <laughs> I'll just shake it until it comes out. It's almost out. Couple more shakes. Set it? The old Shadalicious. 
We'll fish along here. When you see. Oh, one just followed you. Oh, there was one there, eh? Yeah. Even the silt. Here, there's one. So something that I like to do is, you don't have to do a full-blown figure eight, but I like to do a little L. So as that bait comes in, I'll keep it low and I'll just do a little sweep in front of the boat. You can still figure eight pike, but even that little sweep, just keeping your bait in for like a second longer and changing directions can make it happen. Oh my goodness! These fish are just kamikaze. Keep your lure in the water till the end, I'm telling you. One of these times it's gonna be a 45 incher is gonna swirl and they're gonna be like, gosh darn golly, there's one. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> it's a muskie. It's a muskie. I just figure eighted it. That was pretty sweet. We've driven a lot further for a lot less, Dad. Yes, that we have. Classic line, Dad says every trip at least once. Driven a lot more for a lot less. There's some legendary men's Bible study group trip oh, to Point Du Bois, Manitoba, and eight guys on one weekend caught one 24 inch pike, and they filleted that pike just perfect to get every ounce of meat off of that fish. Give it a yeah, that's rest. That's the story, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> that is the story. I hit all the main, uh, the main points. Yeah, pretty well. Other than that, I was the one that caught it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think we're switching, switching spots. It's about five o'clock. I think we'll fish probably one more spot, then dinner, the main lodge, and then go out fishing in the evening. It's a beautiful thing. And we're back. Well, Dad, we didn't get skunked. No, no. Couple we good didn't. boats at interactions, set the pace, you know? We'll work our way up. Well, after a tough day of fishing, guess it's time to play some poker. Old Texas Hold'em. I want to know more about that pike mount. Cause that looks looks like a tiger muskie. A tiger muskie and a pike. Oh, no. No. Uh, oh, no. You no. Ruined it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh uh, or door. It was really good. Or door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob, you're gonna get kicked out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Our soup tonight is classic black bean soup. Uh, our salad is Chicago salad. Whoa. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, look at the design in there. Just for you. That is awesome. Thanks. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, one second. Lift up again. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> thank you. Oh, wait, one more time. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I hope you say thank you, Marcel. I'm so nervous. Thank you. <laughs> His voice cracked. <laughs> thank you. Nailed it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. How was dinner? Oh, but that was fantastic. Insane. The weather wasn't so great. I would say let's just crash, but no, no, we have, there's walleye to be caught. Pike to be caught, fished anything. Yeah, we're gonna go fishing. These are like the longest days of the year. In the north. You can't uh, catch them if you're sitting in the cabin. Exactly. We've got to wash some lures. Uh, sunset's like 10.30 or 10.45 or something. 10.45, we're going fishing. And we're off. Well, as it often does, the wind died in the evening and we have a stunning evening. It's 8.30 right now. We're gonna got, we got like two hours, more than two hours of daylight. I got the Summit shuttle and live scope set up. Maybe a little overkill, but it looks like I'm seeing some fish out there. So we're casting a big extended point here and it looks like there's some fish 80 feet out that way. Need to get this a little more dialed yet, but. Oh. Oh. That's what we're looking for. Oh, nice. All right. Been getting hit and missing, missing, missing. It looked like a good walleye spot. I mean, this is where Alfred took us. He said it's kind of a pike walleye combo spot. And that's our first walleye of the day. Took us a little while, but it's all right. We just heard from 
Brent, the owner, that tomorrow is going to be Lake Trout Day, going to Kamachawi, reliving some memories. But today's not over. That's the first walleye of many. Oh, what do we got? Another walleye. We found a pocket of walleyes with a bunch of swim bait eating walleyes. Let's try off the deep side. Nice. There we go, Dad. Nice walleye. Bring him to me. They're fishing shallow. All right, there we go. Real close. Arms stretched out. Oh. Oh. Oh! Walleye number four. Man, they are stacked here. Look at that silhouette. This fish though, I might be dropping right on some. But the fish are biting. Ooh, nice oh, walleye. Nice one. Hey! That's the biggest yet. Biggest walleye of the day. She is very lean, but she's long. All right, Dad. Smile in here. Nice little walleye on the main lake. Very, very skinny. Wow, that is a skinny fish. But hey, 23 inch going back to hopefully get fatter. That's all right, though. Well, that is it for day one of our adventure. Thanks to Huntfish MB for making this possible. Check it out, they got some new swag. It is very comfortable. Maybe you'd even call it stylish and uh, it's very warm on this windy day, but beautiful, beautiful evening to end it off. And tomorrow, a whole new adventure.